Hi there, this is just a video to show you around the handheld devices. Please do check the Carer Overview and the Care App Overview videos as well. So here's your device. The ePlan symbol here is the app and the Chrome symbol will take you through to the web page. I'm going to show you the web page today. Click on the web page and then enter your email and your password as you would normally to enter the system and then press sign in. First thing you will see is welcome. You'll also see any new features that have been deployed and you'll see a list of birthdays if they are happening within the month. Below that you'll see any carers on shift so you've got who your colleagues will be for today. Across the top there you've got that black bar with the white arrow. This will see where you can work in your work zones if you're using that function. You've got your quick access calendar. Incident and accident reporting. And at last, messages. This is where any messages sent to you via your, from your management will be here as well. So it's always worth keeping an eye on that. Click on this three line menu up here. That will take you through to the carer dashboard, the policy page, or allow you to sign out. Let's click on the carer dashboard. This is how it looks on the web page on your handheld devices. Still got the black bar there. And as you scroll down, you can sort by surname, room number, or you can search your residence by clicking in that and typing in resident naming. You still have the same alerts as you would have seen on the Carer Overview page. Down the bottom, you've got handover notes. So you can sort the handover by resident name, the time, or the room number. You've also got the ability to swap user. So say if you having to log out completely and somebody else log in, Nick is also on shift, he could enter his password here and by swapping, he will now have access to the system. Just scrolling back through and let's take ourselves back to the Carer Dashboard. It's gonna have a similar feel to what we saw on the Carer Overview video. So if I click on Fergus, it brings up Fergus's care page. We still got the alerts as we would have seen before and the care actions, albeit stacked rather than across the screen. And at the bottom, you have your scheduled jobs. I can click on personal care and it will bring up the personal care job. Still have my care instructions and the ability to tick the jobs that I have done. In the comments section, by clicking on that, the keyboard will pop up so I could text if I wish. But if I select the microphone, I could talk into it and type something out. Remember to check your spelling and to say things like full stop to add a full stop to the text. I then press the big green tick. I've now recorded Fergus's personal care. Exactly the same kind of thing for the bowel chart. Click on the bowel chart, select the stool type. I want to share with handover or management. I select those icons and again, I'm going to talk into this. Across here where I see today, if I click on any of those icons, it will pop up your daily report. This is just like we saw on the Carer Overview as well. Want to see the handover notes specifically for Fergus? I can click on that, it will only show me Fergus's. Or if I can view on full handover report, it will show me everybody else's as well. And there we are the app and the Chrome. Log ourselves back out. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.